what's the difference between borrowing ideas, stealing in a good way, and stealing in a bad way? Well, recently a web developer's portfolio was completely ripped off by a fellow developer, and the original dev isn't too pleased. Is this a case of a portfolio pervert, or is it all just a part of the game? We're going to talk about it today. The video starts right now. <laughs> Real Tough Candy from RealToughCandy.com back in your area with you guys today. Perusing Twitter yesterday and I see this tweet in my feed. This guy, Ryan DiMascio, he works for a company named Channel Bakers. He's a front-end dev and UI designer. And he said, my entire web development portfolio was just blatantly stolen. Thread below. So immediately I'm like, okay, what happened? So we're going to go through these tweets. We're going to look at what this guy did, how he stole this stuff. Not how he stole it, but you're just going to see a lot of things to make you say, oh, wow, really? But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, a little backstory. While I was on parental leave for three weeks, after the birth of my first daughter, I received a message on LinkedIn from a fellow front-end dev asking for advice on interviewing for an open position with my employer. So this guy hit Ryan up on LinkedIn and was like, hey, Ryan, we never met. I came across your profile. I recently saw a job post for front-end developer, and I'm highly interested. What are some ways I can stand out in the hiring process? So Ryan, being the gracious guy that he was, said, hey, man, sorry for the late response. Channel Bakers is an awesome company. Channel Bakers is the place where he works. I love working here. The people are super friendly. I think the best thing you can do to stand out is just be yourself. They hire for culture over skill. So if you're a good fit with the team and willing to put in effort to learn and get better, then they'll love you. Hopefully this helps. Then this guy, Blaisean, was like, thanks a lot. Ryan said, I took a look at his portfolio site and was really impressed and thought he had a good shot at getting an offer based on his technical merit. A couple weeks later, everything changed. Uh-oh, the tides are turning. And he said last night, so this is March 30th, I was sitting on the couch bottle feeding my daughter and randomly had a thought to check out his portfolio again. When I opened his site, I thought I was being punked. This is what I see. Hi, I'm Blaisean, full stack developer and front end engineer. Just for reference, here is my site. I'm Ryan, UI UX designer and front end dev. Okay, I looked around the rest of his site and lo and behold, there were all of my projects. Again, my site in comparison, so let's check out this ripped off site. Here are the projects Blaisean has claimed to develop, and here are the original projects. He even copied the blog post for one of my projects and just changed all the links to go to his Twitter profile and Gmail. The original mock-up drawing is still in my office. It looks like he replaced one of these projects with his own. This web, web hacks American Grill Diner was taken from somewhere else, apparently. But anyways, let's, let's keep going through this. 10 out of 10, 11. What really set me over the edge is the about page. He kept avatars of my fiance, baby, and dog, switched out my avatar with an avatar of himself, which was also copied from my project brandswag.io, and copied my writing word for word, only changing the names. Tweet 12 of 13, the file on his site still has my name on it. I know they say that people copying your work is supposed to be a compliment, but this is ridiculous and I'm absolutely disgusted. So then this update came yesterday. Ryan said after confronting him last night, he reverted his site back to its previous state. Thanks for the support. So Blaisean said, thanks so much for the valuable input. Ryan said, you're welcome for the input and for the website. Pretty crazy. We both have dogs named Max. Small world. Wow. And just a lot of tweets saying, dude, WTF, that's messed up. A lot of people saying they have had that happen to them or they know someone who's had that happen to them. Matt Peterson, I personally know several front end engineers who have gotten jobs doing this. I thought it was an open secret that we all, all copy each other's work. And then Leah was like, um, no, WTF, decent people don't do anything remotely like this. And then to try and save face, this guy said that someone hacked his account on LinkedIn. This guy said that a similar thing happened to him at work, only the guy made it to the interview stage. Unfortunately for him, the guy interviewing him was the person whom he stole from. What followed was an extremely awkward 45 minutes. Here's the thing. 
We all steal as web developers. Usually we're stealing from Stack Overflow. We see a good idea, a good design. We take it, we use it for our own projects. We're not giving credit to the original place we found it. Color swatches, color patterns, um, various design patterns even. We're not giving credit to the gang of four in our, in our comments or in our code. We steal all day, every day as developers. However, this is almost a case of low key identity theft. Where it does get ugly in this case is the dude when he steals these portfolio projects, clearly not his work, blatant, blatant ripoffs. And then the about section is just, it's just sleazy. It's just not true. So he says, the, the guy who stole the stuff said he lives in LA with his three loves, his best friend Lacey, his dog Max, and our puppy who's due in March 2019. Uh, that's just gross. So this guy lives in Anaheim Hills with his three loves. The original guy who did all this stuff, he, lo he has his girlfriend Casey, his dog Max, and his baby who's due in March 2019. So what this guy did was take it one step further than what most of us do. Most of us stick to stealing great ideas we see on landing pages, you know, great designs, even great copy. If someone wrote a great bio section, you can't copy it word for word, but you can change the wording and make it your own, okay? There, I'm, I'm sorry, but there's no law against it. People steal my stuff all the time. It would be great if people gave me credit, but they don't. You know, I take stuff too, and I don't give credit either for color swatches, for design patterns, but this guy took it one step further and really violated this guy's identity. This was, like I said, I think, low-key identity theft, but I'm definitely interested in what you guys have to say about this. And can developers do anything to prevent this? It got me thinking about how we could abstract HTML and CSS so that they weren't readily available for other people. I don't know how we could do it, or even if that would ever be a possibility. Then again, everything's possible when it comes to coding. So it's got me thinking. So interested in hearing what you guys have to say about this, your ideas about anything regarding this story. Has it happened to you? Has it happened to someone you know? And what did you or what did they do about it? Thanks guys for watching. So many more videos coming up. It's spring cleaning season on the Real Tough Candy channel. A lot of fun changes coming. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.